our job if initiated by a perfect living master is to reach just the threshold of the astral stage not even go anywhere further where we will meet our master in his radiant form from then master takes over we are not to worry about going to second stage third stage fifth stage that's not our job is the job of the master then we just go with the master now when we have this journey as it were it's called a journey because we have experiences like a journey and through different regions going ascending to our true home we come across so many interesting things the astral plane is full of great attractions even more attractions and temptations than even the physical universe so sometimes we think that the physical universe is only got temptations and attractions and we are tied down by them there are similar attractions and temptations in the astral plane also and many souls are held up there they say to the master please let me have a little more time here it's so wonderful here all the heavens are here so much fun is there we can fly anywhere we like we can see all those things that we were wondering of we can see other galaxies we'll go and see other planets where life is existing we can do so many things we couldn't do in the physical plane please give us little more time and the master is always ready to give us a long rope sometimes we use a long rope to hang ourselves but that's a different thing he says okay so there are many souls currently you can go and see them currently at the astral plane who have been there for a long time by long time i mean in terms of thousands of years who have been there initiated souls but they are initiated but they are still attracted to those things the master allows them to uh, get their wishes fulfilled as it were because he does not want to take people with wishes and desires for the lower stages still left with them so he either sublimates them takes them away or fulfills them he does something either here in the physical plane or in the astral plane before he takes them up so some people who do not have that temptation and have overcome temptations even in the physical world they say we are fed up of this we had enough we don't want any more of this stuff but there's a chance that they might uh, get tempted in the astral plane so what the masters do is that they put blinders on those so the two powers that continue with us two sense perceptions that continue with us at all stages are called nirth and surth nirth is the power to see surth is the power to hear these two never go away these the power to see it may be different kind of seeing but the power to see is always there the power to hear is always there other powers other senses disappear in the higher regions so the master sometimes block our nirth so we don't see anything in the astral plane and he takes us up we don't see it we pass on to causal stage sometimes even takes beyond that then he opens the um, blinders now let's go down and see by that time we have seen something much better so we are not tempted and do not stay there so i tell you the actual story of a mystic my own master's master my master was hazur maharaj baba sawan singh ji his master was baba jamal singh baba jamal singh was a disciple of swami ji of agra said shiv dial singh swami ji of agra initiated him and he asked him to be a master so he did work for that swami ji when he was not a master still a disciple of swami ji he wrote a letter to swami ji saying my beloved master my beloved satguru i am missing you very deeply my heart aches to be separate from you i do not know how i can spend time without you please give me permission to come to agra and have your darshan i want to see you he sent this letter now this is in the last century so you can imagine letters took a lot of time to go there probably they were carried by horseback in those days and not uh, by wireless like now 
so after a month a reply comes to him back from swami ji says my beloved son jamal singh i am very happy to get your letter and to know that your soul is roaming around in khand brahman he says my soul is going nowhere i just asked for time for interview this letter must be meant for somebody else by mistake sent to me so he wrote another letter he said beloved master uh, satguru ji i have received your letter and there you say my soul is going in khand brahman my soul is going nowhere i do meditation i see nothing and therefore this must be somebody else's i just ask you if you will give me permission to come and see you and have your darshan he posted the second letter a second reply comes after a month it says my dear son chamal singh i am very pleased to know that your soul is roaming around in khand brahman and so far as coming to see me is concerned you can come next month in the first week <coughs> puzzled by the two letters he carries the letters with him and goes to agra and meets swami ji and he places the letters in front of him he says master there must have been some mistake my soul was going nowhere i was having no experiences i saw nothing i was just missing you so much i wanted to see you and swami ji laughed at him he said let us go do little short meditation there were about 10 or 15 people sitting at that time outside the hut where swami ji lived so swami ji took baba jamal singh inside the hut and they meditated for about half an hour and then they came out then swami ji spoke now jamal singh tell me when i wrote that letter to you was your soul roaming around in khand brahman or not he said yes master it was then swami ji said i am not asking you if your soul was roaming around in the half an hour we brought, we were sitting inside i am saying was it roaming around at the time when i wrote the letter to you he said yes master my soul was roaming around at that time when you wrote the letter to me in khand brahman then addressing the others who were sitting there swami ji said sometimes when a disciple is very close to a master especially his favorite he will put blinders on his eyes so he does not get entangled with the temptations of the astral and causal planes and therefore he takes them beyond and then he brings him back on the way back he can see whatever he likes but not on the way up and therefore when blinders are put on that the experience the rest of the experience is the same so you know you are at a higher plane how do you know the intense longing for the master increases a lot so intense longing is so strong that when because you only pass through that nothing happens to us unless our soul is ascending inside so the effect sometimes we say we have been doing meditation we don't see anything inside but otherwise our faith has developed very much our love has developed very much where is it developing from if you are seeing nothing nothing is happening in meditation how is how is your longing increasing so much how is your love and devotion increasing so much it only increases when the soul is having an ascent and having an experience without nirat without seeing that sometimes you can have the surat working you can listen to what is going on there the shabad sound there the sounds can be heard but you cannot see and it's only indirectly a gift from the master not to create another temp- field of temptations for you at another region so one should never be discouraged that if i am not seeing something that means i am making no progress progress can be measured like i was saying yesterday by many other means one of them is if the faith is increasing and faith is something that you cannot easily explain you can say i have full faith you can say it mentally by thought full faith in my master then something bad happens a tragedy happens in your house theft takes place you lose something you say what did master do he didn't do it take to care of me faith has gone that faith of the mind is always temporary it doesn't last but the faith built upon the soul's ascent never diminishes it says but there must be some good master done for me there must be some hidden benefit in this thing that has happened it must be up and down that is making me go through karma faster some other explanation comes to you immediately when the faith is not shaken 
eventually it is with the internal progress that you make that you get unshakable faith in a master and it's not a mental thinking that creates the faith similarly the love and devotion grows automatically and you don't know where how it is growing is growing because you are making progress on the spiritual path all spiritual path cannot be measured in terms of visual experiences inside it can be measured by so many other factors also